Hi, my name is Sherman Snyder. I'm a Master Cam AE out of the Houston, Texas area for MLC CAD Systems. And today I'd like to talk about Master Cam and Port Expert. Port Expert supports up to four and five axis simultaneous motions for both roughing and finishing. It also creates high roughing operations that are efficient using Master Cam's dynamic motion toolpaths with the ability to use stock models to work within regions and avoid air cutting. This is going to help you reduce cycle times. It also has an intelligent motion. So regardless of any kind of four or five axis motions that you would try to force to get, Mastercam using Port Expert is going to try to limit the three axis motion as much as possible to avoid any kind of tool deflection that you may not want to see when down inside of a port. You also have the ability to add the collision avoidance check for any kind of collisions between the tool, workpiece, and have the tool automatically tilt just to avoid any kind of collision. Let's go ahead and jump into the Port Expert add-on and take a look at what Port Expert has to offer. So from here, we're going to go ahead and create some simple geometry for our port since I don't have anything on my screen right now. So I'll create a couple circles here, make that a little more visible. And I'm simply going to do a transform, we'll do a dynamic, take it down three quarters of an inch and I'll rotate this 90 and take it back about another inch. As seen there. And from here, I'm gonna go ahead and create some simple geometry that we're gonna need in order to get this port. So we'll do a flat boundary on each side and I'm going to take advantage of these surfaces here to create our spline in order to sweep our geometry around. And once we get that geometry here, let's go ahead and reverse this around. And we'll create a spline in order to sweep between these two surfaces here. And after we get the sweep done, we're going to see this port that we have here on the screen. So let's look at what Port Expert can do for us to help us be more efficient within Mastercam. So as we see on the screen here, I got my port and my stock already has a stock model loaded there. And we're going to go ahead and display that so we can see it. Got a nice clean block for my port. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll turn that back off. And we're going to jump to the multi-axis toolpaths and go down to the Port Expert add-on. Inside this Port Expert add-on, we see that we have a lollipop tool loaded, and I'll give it a comment of rough port. And from here, I'm going to adjust the holder a little bit. Let's go down to 2 inches. Next, I'm going to go down to the cut pattern, and we have an array of patterns here, but I want to start off with roughing. And I can offset, or I can do a dynamic motion. Let's take advantage of Mastercam's dynamic motion. So the machining geometry, all we need to do is select the port. And for our offset, this is going to be the stock that we leave behind. We'll set it for 15 thousandths. I'm going to uncheck automatic, and I'm going to take advantage of that spline that we created when we swept this port. And we could do both top or bottom for the output type. I'm going to set this one for both, as well as machine to a midpoint from top max or max from bottom and I could do a user defined as well if I want to but let's I just want to end at the midpoint here next we see our surface quality I can make adjustments to I'm going to leave it for default and we also have step over distances and desired step over as well as minimum curvature radius that we can add I'm going to leave this for climb milling and I'm going to go into my tool axis control. And under this tool axis control, we can see I have the option for five axis as well as four axis here. I'm going to leave it for five. Under our collision control, I can do cylindrical or conal for our clearance type. I'm going to leave this for cylindrical and give it a holder clearance of 0.1. And I'll keep the rest of these for 20 thousandths. Linking parameters, I have a radius. I'm going to set the radius for auto. And my through connection cylinder, I'm going to say auto as well for this. 
And let's go ahead and green check OK on this. Go ahead and let it generate a little bit. And I'm going to take that operation and copy after. Let's go back inside the parameters here. And under our cut pattern, I'm now going to change this to finish. Let's change it to finish around. Now, I could just go into my offset and I could take away my stock. I could still go to a midpoint here and I'm just simply going to green check OK. Let's, let's change this step over, get a nice finish here. And now I'll green check OK. And I'll let this one generate. All right. So now we got a toolpath finishing from the top and from the bottom side meeting in the middle. Let's go ahead and verify this. So now within our verification, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's take a look at our, let's press play, there we go, and maybe I want to kind of see my tool down in there a little bit, so I'll add a little bit of translucency to my stock. And you'll notice that once we get about to the midpoint here, Mastercam is going to retract and actually flip around to the back side of the port to finish from the bottom. This is going to be our top and bottom meeting at the midpoint. After this dynamic motion is done, we're going to come back and we're going to finish from the top, meeting back in the middle. And notice the tool axis, how it tilts. It's going to stay as straight as it can for a while in that three axis motion. And once it gets to where it needs to tilt, it tilts. So I'm going to remove the tool here and let's take a look at the actual results of this here. And now we can see the port itself once split in half, how it's following along with that spline from the top and the bottom curves that we have for this particular port. We'll look at it from the front view. That looks really clean.